All right, hello and welcome. I wanted to share with you a cool little workflow. I've been playing with a 3D printing pen and um, I had an idea. So basically, these shapes are conductive. Okay, and you can create any shape you want. You can even create abstract shapes, which I enjoyed doing. And let me kind of zoom in on some of these shapes so you can see the texture of them are pretty neat. They're already kind of globby looking and that works out perfect for electroforming. So what you need is a 3D pen. Okay. This pen is really nice. Uh, it's a Leo, Leo Evo. Yeah, you don't have to get this one. I would get a black one because if you're going to do this with this workflow, you can see that I'm using graphite and graphite's getting on this. So try to get a black pen maybe, but it does not matter what pen you get. All it does is have to have the ability to print PLA. Okay, PLA. And I'm using clear. Again, you can use any color you want. Uh, I took out tracing paper and the PLA doesn't stick to it as well so it allows you to get the shape off of it. Each pen is going to be different. This one just heats up. It takes about a couple seconds to heat up. Yeah, I'll just kind of zoom in on maybe a moon. I'll try to do this so you guys get the idea of it. So when you first there we go. Gary, please call the main office. Gary, please call the office. And then you can make any weird doodles. Doodle, doodle, doodle. You can get as intricate as you want with this thing. And then I'm gonna, just for texture purposes. If you wanted, you could create even the little thing that attaches. Like that. And you let it dry for a sec. And it comes right off. Providing if you wait patiently. And, uh, there we go. So now I have this cool little shape. So what you do is you get now graphite paint or graphite powder and you get acetone and you mix that up here. The ratio, really loose interpreted, it's got to be really runny. I'll show you how you figure out if you got a right consistency though. So you can take a piece of PLA. cut it and you should be able to dip it in the magic liquid and it is now conductive and you wait a couple seconds and it should not come off so that's now a conductive piece of PLA so what you do is you grab some tweezers take your shape 
dip it in the magical liquid. Um, I kind of blow on it to get out the details. Wait a couple seconds. Look at that crazy detail, right? All that good texture. You can trim off some stuff. But that's ready to go in the bath. And you can glue crystals to it. You can paint it even if you want to paint on top of the conductivity. You can even paint instead of using this stuff. But um, the difference between the acetone graphite and just regular paint is this etches right into it. Like there's, if I go scraping this, I have to really scrape hard. And when I do scrape it, it gets shiny. So that tells me it's, it's a couple layers deep into it. Cool, you are gonna get graphite everywhere. But that's a good way to come up with custom shapes that are very interesting for electroforming. If they get bent like that, see how this is kind of wonky? Uh, you can take a hair dryer in two seconds and it just flattens it right out. So I hope you enjoy. Um, oh, one other thing. So let's say you want to attach the, the filament to a crystal. Paint the crystal with clear nail polish and then you can doodle right on the crystal itself and then you can either take it off or leave it on but the nail polish acts as a catalyst for the PLA to stick to the crystal. Alright, so I hope you enjoy that workflow. If you have one of these 3D pens laying around and some PLA, you'll have some fun.